this way. Welcome to Doris Visits. It's so important to choose the right ship. The food, the entertainment, the size, the people you cruise with, the age mix. Let's compare 10 ships used by UK cruisers. Welcome to the Queen Mary 2. I'm back on the Aurora and it used to be a family ship, but now it's an adult ship. Three of these are adult ships. This one you'll jump in and run around. Virgin ships are for adults only. And the beautiful saga ship, the Spirit of Adventure. It's the newest and youngest ship I've been on. It's only a couple of years old. I'm standing on the observation deck, deck 14. And the family ships. It's 2023. The Azura was built in 2010, so it's 13 years old now. We haven't been on for a while. Let's go and see if it's changed. The Morella Discovery 2 accommodates 1,836 guests. She's an all-inclusive family ship and definitely appeals to younger adults. We're at the top of the River L, but we're not on a river cruise. We're on the Queen Victoria. We're on a big ship, the Iona, and a big ship means a big cabaret act. And we've got Gary Barlow. Before I show you around the Ventura, I just need to use one of the laundrettes. These dryers are busy, but there's one available at the other end. The Ventura came into service in 2008, and in 2018, it's undergone a refit. Remember when we thought the Britannia was a big ship? Now, the average cruise ship size is for over 3,000 guests. It's worth $8 billion a year, and the average age of the cruiser is 62. On our Doris Visits Cruise Channel, male viewers research more ports than female viewers, and the age of cruisers researching our port guides is quite diverse, but it is similar to the industry's breakdown of the age of cruisers. Let's work from big to small, starting with the Iona, which can accommodate 5,200 passengers, has 1,800 crew, and is a no-fly ship. Home port is Southampton. It has 33 dining and bars, six theatres and lounges, and five pools. The atrium is so huge, it feels like you could fit a small ship inside it. The entertainment is spectacular. Just look at this circus-type show it's to amuse you as you're wandering through. So the place to get your crossword is on deck six by the coffee station, crossword and newspaper. It's a family ship, but it features solo get-togethers and holds other meetings, including LGBT, See the full video tour on this channel, youtube.com slash at Doris Visits. In the evening, the Sky Dome turns into a cabaret venue and we're waiting for the Adele tribute. Very excited. The average age of viewers researching our Iona ship tours peaks at 54 to 64. The Britannia is a popular family ship, holding 3,647 guests with 1,350 crew. Shall we break? It has 26 dining and bars, five theatres and lounges, and four pools. The Britannia has a square atrium. There are lots of little places to hide on the ship. This is the lounge in the blue bar. The Azura accommodates 3,100 guests and has 1,250 crew, 23 dining and bars, three theatres and lounges, and four pools. It's a family ship and the children are very well catered for. Tonight is a formal night and the captain has invited everybody to come and have a glass of fizz with him. The Ventura accommodates 3,078 guests and has 1,250 crew. It's a no-fly ship and its home port is Southampton. There are 22 dining and bars, three theatres and lounges and four pools. She tends to offer longer cruises to exciting ports like New Orleans, which you can see on Doris Visits. Please don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. The Virgin Scarlet Lady accommodates 2,700 guests and has 1,150 crew. The ship is open to a new generation of adults, just as Saga did 50 years ago. There are yacht-inspired suites, tattoo bars, and modern cuisine. There are 20 eateries with menus by Michelin chefs. The Queen Mary II accommodates 2,691 guests 
and has 1,173 crew. This is a very classy ship and is actually the only liner still at sea. She also has an amazing library. Whilst she is steeped in old Hollywood glamour, she is one of the most diverse ships you will sail on. So deck three is the entertainment deck and as you walk through towards the theatre, this is my favourite part, all the old Hollywood glamour photographs on the wall. This is a special theatre, Illuminations, where you can see shows about the solar system, guest lectures and you can see movies in here. The Royal Court is the main theatre where you see the acts and entertainment. We saw a tribute to the Beatles and a 16-piece orchestra which played along with a Cunard orchestra filmed at Abbey Road Studios shown on a screen behind them. Amazing. At the other end, a ballroom and a nightclub where the house band plays to 12.30 and then they have a disco until the early hours and if you just want to people watch, stay upstairs. This is a diverse, fun ship. The Queen Victoria accommodates 2,061 guests and has 913 crew. The Queen Victoria does have a really engaging and beautiful atrium. She has a wonderful gym bar and an incredibly ornate clock. She oozes style and is a lively and very diverse ship. Join us on Doris Visits and we'll guide you around some great cruise ports. YouTube.com slash at Doris Visits. The Aurora is an adult-only ship that can accommodate 1,874 guests and has 850 crew. She starts her year with a grand 65-night cruise and she sails out of Southampton to some exciting ports. At each end of Deck 7 there's an entertainment venue. I'm in the Medina and I've worked out I'm going to see Busker Jake in the Crow's Nest till quarter past ten and then after that I'm going to the Curzon Theatre to see Tom Suha play the violin. This is a quiet bar, great for a pre-dinner drink. She has 18 dining and bars, three theatres and lounges and three pools. Interestingly, it appears she appeals greatly to young adults. The Morella Discovery 2 accommodates 1,836 guests and has 771 crew and is 264 metres long. She is very popular. She's an all-inclusive family ship and definitely appeals to younger adults. This small but spacious ship can reach a speed of 18 knots. This is the gallery outside the Playhouse Theatre where you wait before you go into the show in the evening. This beautiful modern theatre has 440 seats. Great guest acts play to a trio in the theatre. In the middle of the library is the coffee station and down in the atrium there's a quartet playing. The Saga, Spirit of Adventure, is a very modern, beautifully decorated ship with USB charging ports everywhere. There is free Wi-Fi and it's all-inclusive. They pick you up from your door and take you to the ship. Life couldn't be easier on this beautiful ship, which holds only 987 guests and has 540 crew. <laughs> cruise ships do all they can to ensure you have a great cruise and the $8 billion industry is projected to more than quadruple in the next few years. But this is why you must be properly insured. An airlift cost one English lady $50,000 because she only had the most basic insurance with her bank. Now let's talk food and see some great meals. But first, please subscribe to this channel, Doris Visits, like and share. Tonight we're in the beach house and we're eating outside because it's a lovely, warm, balmy evening. You pay a supplement to eat here, but it's not very expensive and it's really worth it. At Saga, the fine dining restaurants are included in the price, 
but that does mean they can get fully booked. So don't forget to book early. We're in the Amalfi restaurant tonight and I'm starting with calamari. So we both opted for the swordfish and I've got some fried potatoes and spinach and Stuart's got some artichoke and spinach. For the pudding, it's lemon tart. Tonight we're having a special meal in the kukuri restaurant and kukuri actually means knife. So we have the hot chilies, the chickpeas, the onion kebab and the slaw and this one's tomato and these are the uh, pickles. So I've ordered the vegetarian option which is cauliflower and mushroom curry with a chickpeas and spinach and saffron rice. It's carrot cake with Indian ice cream. Day two, Dal Makani, and here's the tip. If you want it extra spicy, just ask. On the Iona, you can eat late. It's a big ship, and you must book restaurants on your app or you'll be eating in the buffet. Even the restaurants that charge a supplement get fully booked, as does some entertainment. The food ranges from fast to fabulous. Fish chips and mushy peas in the hook, line and vinegar. At night, a section of the Horizon restaurant turns into the beach house. So you pay a cover of £7.50 a person and some items a little bit extra, but you can normally get in here. This is a late sitting because we've just seen Gary Barlow. Chili sin carne, which is the vegetarian option. And I've opted for the fajitas with halloumi. So Stuart's opted for the banana split and I have opted for the pineapple soaked in rum. Finally, is it worth booking a suite for that special occasion? So this is one of the largest suites on the ship. It's right at the front, it's got a gorgeous view. If four wardrobes is not enough, you've got another two here, six wardrobes. The toilet is accessible either from the bathroom or from the sitting room. So every night you get canapes, you get ice, whatever drinks you order. Sheila and Alan, are you happy with your cabin? We love the cabin, it's excellent, worth every penny. We love the butler service, well done P&L.